Hello guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can breed pals in Pal World. This will be my first time trying it as well, but let's see if it's actually pretty simple and self-explanatory. The first thing we would need is a breeding farm. You would have to go in your Ingram points and unlock it. We need 100 wood, 20 stone, and 50 fiber. Thankfully, I had my pal make me a lot of fiber, so uh, we're pretty much good on that. So now we should have enough to make one. And I have to decide where to put it. I'm probably gonna put it like right over here somewhere. Okay, so we're able to set it right here. We're just gonna put it right here for now. As you guys can see, I finally put a wall around my base and for some reason it just makes me feel so much safer and it just, uh, I don't know. I just like it a lot better when it's walled in like this. So we're gonna build up this breeding farm and then I'm gonna tell you what else you would need. All right, breeding farm is built. So I think we go to this right here. We open this and this is where you would put in the uh, pals you wanna breed, I'm assuming. Male and female not present, not enough cake. So I think we need to make cake and then we need to put a female and a male inside. All right, so first let's figure out how to make some cake. To check, you would have to go to either your fireplace or your cooking pot. And let's find the cake. Here it is. We need flour, red berries, milk, eggs, and honey. All right, some of these ingredients, if you're a beginner, is gonna be uh, kind of tricky to find, but I'm gonna tell you where you can find most of the ingredients. Now for the flour, you need wheat. And you have to put down these wheat plantations, that way you can keep having more wheat come in, and then that way you make this machine right here and it actually makes you flour. Now, in order to plant the wheat, you actually need wheat seeds. And there's certain pals that actually drop wheat seeds. So where you guys wanna head for your wheat seeds is you wanna come right here, the Hippocrite Hill. If you're having a hard time finding it, it's basically sorta in the middle-ish area. Just fly around in this area until you see it. It's right next to the Gobfin's turf. So to the left of that, you want to come to this area here. This is where you're going to get your wheat seeds and make sure you guys get to the statue. So you can always fast travel here. It makes it a lot easier. And there's a lot of good uh, metal rocks as well for metal ingots and stuff like that. Now, the way you get wheat seeds is mostly from these grass types. All you would have to do is kill them. So for example, let's kill this one here and they should drop some wheat seeds afterwards. You can see it drops a bag. Boom. We already had some wheat seeds now. I believe these creatures do as well. So if we were to kill this one, it drops another bag. Yep, we got more wheat seeds. But if you're looking to just get your wheat seeds and leave, I suggest you do that if you don't have strong pals because this place has a lot of strong, dangerous pals. Like this thing right here. This one's actually my pal. I captured him. I captured a few of them actually. They're very good for base work and they're good for combat. And you could also kill those butterfly looking things, the Cinemoth. They drop wheat seeds. Uh, they're not very strong, so they're pretty simple to kill. So uh, yeah, if you want some quick wheat seeds, you can just kill them. And you don't need that much. You just need a few. Because once you get a few, then you could start making your garden. And once you have your garden, then you're set with your wheat seeds. You don't even need to come back here for wheat seeds anymore. When it comes to eggs, all you have to do is you can make yourself a little farm here and have some chickens grazing and they would automatically drop some eggs. Or you could go out in the wild, kill some wild chickens and they'll give you eggs. Eggs are very easy to get and easy to find along the map. Also, that butterfly that we mentioned earlier, the Cinemoth, they also drop honey, which is another ingredient you will need. So go back to that same spot kill some of these and you would get wheat seeds and you would get honey and you get lettuce seeds, which I'm assuming you would need for something later on. And if you wanted to get milk, you have to find yourself a merchant. A merchant is someone that sells stuff to you. So you would go up to them and they have a lot of stuff in stock. It's always random. And you can see you could buy milk from them, wheat, wool, leather, uh, organs and all that stuff. I don't know if they spawn in the same location for everybody, but where I'm at on the map is right where it says Marsh Island Church Ruins. To the right of that, this little island piece is exactly where I'm at. So here we have the Wandering Merchant and then we have the Pal Merchant. This guy sells pals while this one sells uh, items. Now, I'm not sure if there's any other way to get milk at this point in the game. I don't know if there's certain pals that make milk, uh, maybe because I didn't get that far in the game yet. So once you have all your ingredients made, we would start to make some cakes. I don't know how much cake we're gonna need, so I'm gonna make the max amount. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how far this gets us with the breeding. Man, the cake takes a long time to make. So I suggest getting a fire pal to manually do this for you or do it together. So that way it can be a little bit faster. But even with me and my pal here, you can see how slow this is going. So we'll be right back once the cake is done cooking. Okay, so we finally got one cake out of this. It takes literally like 20, 30 minutes per cake. So I'm not going to make the video that long. So hopefully this can work with just one cake. But uh, we're about to find out. So first, what we're going to need, obviously, is a male and female present. And you need to put the cake in the box, I'm assuming, because there's no way to put it in there. Uh, so if we put the cake in the box... 
Okay, good. Now it doesn't say we don't have enough cake. Uh, male and female not present. Damn, so I don't know if you can crossbreed or not, but we're going to try it out. So, uh, so there's no option to actually put them in a slot here. So I don't know if I throw them from my party. So let, let me try that, actually. Okay, so we did capture two Robin Quills and one is male one is female so hopefully this should work the pals that you want to mate so you have your male and female ready you want to put them uh, at your base so on this bottom area put them working at your base what we're going to do now uh we're going to if you go to them you can lift them up and we throw them at the breeding area and this should assign them to this spot yes okay now he's assigned to the breeding farm so now we would get the other one okay we got him and we're gonna assign or her i don't know which one is which we're going to assign them to the breeding farm. You have to make sure you assign them to it so they don't go wandering off somewhere else. So we're going to put them here. Now you can see it says one in one. Love is blossoming between the two pals. Oh, and you could see the little circle. The orange is like the thing that's going to go around. So that's like the timer of when they're actually going to drop an egg. Why are you on the furnace? Get to the damn cooking. I need this cake done. Pronto. You could like Gordon Ramsay and make sure they ask cook this cake. Wow, okay, it's actually going pretty fast. Probably been about maybe five to 10 minutes and, we're, and they're already almost done. Uh, we're gonna need another cake though if we wanna try to crossbreed, but this is pretty interesting and I can't wait to see how the baby is gonna look and uh, what's gonna, like what kind of powers and stuff it's gonna have. So once it's almost done, let me see what happens now. Oh, bam, okay, large verdant egg. So what you would do now is you would pick up the egg and you would put it in the egg incubator. So once you do that, you're going to open up the egg incubator. You're going to take that egg and you're going to place it inside. And there you would see a timer. Right now it says 40 minutes, but it says it seems just a little cold. So what you can do to help with that is put a heat source near the incubator. So we're going to put this heater down right here. It seems like they're starting to breed again, but it says not enough cake. Now, I don't know what happens if they breed with no cake. So, uh, I mean, I guess we could find out. Oh, okay. So apparently my fire type pal has to come and warm up the heater manually. And now it says it seems comfortable and it dropped down to 28 minutes. But if we pick them up, it goes up to 37. So you can cut the time down by like 10, 15 minutes. Unfortunately, I need him over here to finish making those cakes. Okay. I think it actually pauses at 99% until you put enough cake in and then it'll drop the egg because right now it's been stuck on this for a few minutes and nothing's happening. So, okay, actually what we're going to do, cause I want to try this so bad is we're going to take the male we have and we're going to put the male in the breeding pen and wait till you guys see who I'm going to try to crossbreed him with. It's going to be so funny. So we're going to throw him in here again. And then we're going to use the Mamarest, which is a female, and see if we can actually crossbreed them. So this is going to be hilarious. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put... Oh my god, he's so big. Okay. Oh, I can't even see where I'm running. That's so funny. You can just lift them up like this. Let's assign him there. Boom. Wow, and they're actually starting to breed. Oh my god. So we're breeding the Mamarest, and we're breeding the Robin Quill, and we're going to see what type of baby that they make. We just have to make sure we get the cake. So let me make sure my uh, pal's on top of that. Oh my God. Okay. So we finally got another cake done after like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so we're going to test it out. So there should be a 99% by now, right? Let me see. Oh, perfect. Oh, please work. I hope this works. Okay. I'm going to put the cake in there. Oh my God. It dropped the scorching egg. Wow. What? They made a fire type out of these two? Okay, we're going to put it in this other incubator right here. Oh, man. Oh, only six minutes. Okay, damn. I expected the egg timer to be longer, but okay, that works. Okay, so the scorching egg is completed, and this is the one with the Mamarest and the Robin Quill. So we're going to see what type of pal this came out to. And I'm like so excited and nervous for some reason. A van... A van rim. Oh, what the hell is that? So apparently this is what we just created. Now, I, I'm assuming it didn't just create a random pal. This is an actual pal in the game. And apparently they spawn on the bottom left of the map. Okay, so you can crossbreed two random pals to get another random pal. But it doesn't actually give you a mixture of both pals that you made it. So like I thought it was going to be a mixture of the Robin Quill and the Mamorist. But instead, I got a whole dragon. Okay, the egg is now complete. So now let's see what we've gotten. This is from both of the Robin Quills. So the same pals. So I'm assuming it's going to be another version of the same pal. 
okay it was yeah so he does do but let's see um the level of it though to see how strong it is okay so he turned out level one as expected he has the same moves that my robin quill has wind cutter and power shot not that strong moves pretty basic he has three passive skills so i guess breeding could be a good thing because it gives them the passive skills from their parents and gives him in a passive skill of his own now that can be pretty interesting if you want to get a stronger versions of the same pal but I kind of like it when we mix breed the Robin Quill with the Mammarest and we ended up getting a whole dragon. That makes me want to crossbreed everything around here and see what happens. But hopefully this video was helpful. That is basically how you breed pals in this game. All you got to do is place, throw them in here to set them. Put the cake in this storage bin right here. Once you make the cake, you put it in. Boom, the egg drops. You put it in the egg incubator and you are set to go. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up as always. Make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like this. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or tips of your own.